Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are going to be taking a look at Caldera Furiosa aka the Angry Cauldron. This is a fantasy course which was designed by Life on a Board and he did create this course for the 2019 Rookie Design Contest hosted by TGC Tours. So as you can see, fairways are normal, greens are normal, green speeds fast, everything else is in default. We do have four T options. We will be playing off the black tees, which are playing a whopping 8,263 yards. This is a par 73, so it's going to be an absolute monster. We are going to be playing off pin set number one. So let's get right into this one, guys. So this is taking quite a long time to load up, guys. So I have quickly fast forward it. And here we are on the first tee. So hole one, par four, playing 447 yards. And look at that, Caldera Furiosa has been planted into the course in the first hole. That is absolutely fantastic. Tee shot certainly looks like it's going to be interesting here. I like the, the brown light rough that's um, highlighting the fairway and things. I think that's a really nice touch. Certainly outlines everything. I think we're going to have to play safe here and come down to the two wood. I think it's a lottery if we take the big dog and try and bounce it off that hilly mounds. As you can see, guys, today I have opted to turn everything off, so I'm going to really challenge myself on this course. I've been swinging really well the past few rounds, so I just thought for today's round we'd turn everything off bar the green grids. So 180 yards... Up 61 feet. Just going to slightly loft this 6 iron up. Try and run this up. On the green. We're clearly going to shoot left here. Off this slope. Just like that. Hopefully that wind may bring us back round. That's a great strike. Is it going to kick up here? It's just going to come up a little bit short. But very happy. With how we read the lie there. So we've got a 33 foot putt up one foot. Greens are 175. This one is going to break quite hard to the left. Just want to get this one close. That should really start to swing back. Have we played it firm enough? I tell you what. Oh, we just miss on the left edge. And we are going to pick up a simple par here from little one foot tapping. And we will move on to hole number two. Going by that, I can see this course being a real challenge. And it does look like you're going to have multiple ways to play this round. But hole number two, par four. Playing 474 yards. This is obviously the step theme that is used to create this course. Like I say, what a beautiful first few opening holes here. As you can see, it's clearly a fantasy or fictional course. Really like the bunker work here. But once again, we've got options. Do you take the high route or the low route? I'm going to take the low route for this round here. Just with that wind there. We're clearly going to kick to the right. I think I've pulled that maybe a wee bit to the left, have I? No, we didn't. It looks like we've hit it sweet. And there's that kick right. Is it going to hold the fairway? No, we're just going to trickle into this border. It is light rough, so it's not a huge issue. This brown border that outlines everything. I do quite like that. I think this is the first time I've come across that. So, 9 iron. This ball's going to shoot to the right. So, just setting this down the left-hand side. Has it got the legs to kick on? Has it got the legs to kick on? It does, and that is a really good shot. And we are going to set ourselves up with about a 10 to 11 foot. 12 footer it is. Opportunity for the birdie here. This one is going to break to the left. Is that going to turn enough? It looks good. It does turn enough. And we do pick up our first birdie off the Rhino move to one under par. But life on the board, I'm sure I've played one of his courses previously on the channel. I could be wrong. But he's clearly knows his way around the designer tool and look at this for a par three it's a monster par three playing 238 yards look at that bunkers certainly looking to use the slope here on the green so we're going to come down to the five hybrid that wind's going to move us to the left and hopefully we can kick off 
this slope here, get it running up towards the pin. Just lofted this up a few touches. Think we've struck that cleanly. It sounded good. Wind's bringing it around, and I am looking for a huge kick off this slope. We do get that. That should filter back towards the pin, I would imagine. Come on, keep coming. There's the flag stick in view there. I'd imagine we're about 15 feet away for another birdie opportunity. 14 feet. This certainly looks downhill. It's saying it's, it's uphill a little bit. I find that strange. It's certainly going to break to the right. I tell you, something turn, and that is a fantastically red putt. And with that, we do move to two under par. But I am blown away by the first three holes in this course, guys. Hole number four is a par four playing 424 yards. And look at this for a hole here. I love the cart paths. So many hazards in play here with the bunkers, the contoured fairways that could kick anywhere. So we're certainly looking to play this down the right hand side. I would imagine we're going to kick left. Oh, I've definitely pulled that a wee bit to the left there because that is certainly not what I aim, but we should still be okay. There's that kick left. And we do have enough fairway to work with. And with that, I would imagine we're going to have a little pitch shot. We are 91 yards away into the wind. So with that, I'm going to look to play the lob wedge full. That wind should hold us up. I think the slope's going to take us to the left here. The wind's going to take us to the left. The green breaks back on itself. So just looking to land this to the right of the flag stick. Almost fully lofting this up. Don't want to come up short here. Sounded like a good strike. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, wow. And that is going to leave us a nightmare putt. An absolute nightmare putt here. I would imagine this is going to be about a two, three foot putt uphill. Just coming up short there. It's two feet uphill, 34 foot. It is turning to the right. Just want to get this up there and give ourselves an opportunity of saving par. We've certainly played it firm enough. Just didn't read the break as well as we could. And we're going to come up about three feet short. Four feet to the hole. You can do this. Four feet. Let's see if we can convert this for the par save. We do. Solid Just coming up short there in that approach shot. But like I said after seeing the first hole, this is a course that's going to give you many options of how to play it. But hole number five. Par four playing 434 yards. But this is a fantastic looking course, guys. There is no denying that. I have not played all of the rookie design entry courses. But out of the three or four that I have played, this is by far the best course to date. I think we're going to have to come away over to the left-hand side here because this fairway is elevated. Seemed like a nice strike. Wind should bring us back to the right. But look at all the challenges that await you on your approach shot here with the, the green. That green is littered, or should I say surrounded by bunkers here. Once again, the greens are playing tough. This wind should really move us right to the right here. I'm sure the ball is going to kick to the right as well with the lie we have at our feet. So looking to fire this right at the flag stick. It's a nice strike. There's the wind and the slope bringing it back round. This could be close. Is it going to sit? Should come back off this slight slope here. It didn't though. So we are clearly going to have a downhill putt. Here's a putt for birdie. Down two inches. 17 feet. We were right on line with the, the flag stick. Just over hit that. Once again this is going to break extreme right. I think I've played that too firm, have I? Oh, right into the heart of the cup. I did think after the first three, four feet of that ball travelling, we'd played it too firm. But we'll pick up the birdie there, and we do move on to hole number six, which is a par five, playing a whopping 639 yards. So as I said, this is a par 73. So in my head, there must be a par six somewhere. Or there's just lots of long 
par fours, but no, there must be a par six. But look at this. Severe elevated green here. And once again, looking by the flyby, we're going to have options of how we play this. Bunkers in play here. I'm convinced that with this wind and the slight downhill element here, we've just got enough club to reach over this bunker. I'm sure time will find out. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Yes, we've comfortably made that. I would imagine if I had a headwind there, guys, you're not going to be able to play the shot from the tips. So the wind is going to dictate how you can play this course at some times. We've got options to come away down right here, but my concern is there. I know that's another part of the course. We'd be too close to that rock. So I'm just going to try and kick this on from the cart path and hopefully leave ourselves a pitch shot. Whether or not we get there, that part of the, the fairway is above currently where we're stood, so it is uphill. It's a good strike. Didn't sound the cleanest, though. Are we going to get the kick on the cart path, or are we going to be stuck in a heavy rough? Looks like we just trickle into the heavy rough. So we've got a fair bit of work to do here. 79 yards, up 21 feet. The heavy rough is penalising. We don't have the best of lies here. So I'm going to come down to the 88. Just looking to run this on from the front of the green. Hopefully get over bunker. Stay up. I don't think it's making it. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, no. We've came up a good few yards short there. So maybe I've not played this par 5 as good as some of you guys will play it. So we're 18 yards out. Just going to fully loft up this flop shot and just attack the pin. Oh, we actually generated a bit of backspin there, but we should have a 10-foot putt for the par save. It is 10 feet bang on. Once again, certainly not a gimme par. The greens are quite tricky here. That needs to turn. It does turn. And we do well to walk away with a par save there. But so far, I am really enjoying this course. This is going to test every shot in your makeup. And you're going to probably have to utilise every club selection. But hole number seven is a par four. And it is a long par four playing 515 yards. But yeah, I, I, I really like this, this brown light rough that's surrounding and highlighting the fairway. It's kind of like a border. And I think it's really nice. That wind is going to move us slightly to the left. Probably about 7 to 8 mile per hour winds we are facing at the moment. Sounded like a good swing. That should run out well for me on this uphill fairway. Okay, both and that's going to leave us with a long approach shot, as you can imagine. I think we could club down. You're part of me. I think we could club down. Once again, look at the greens. I think we're just... Yeah, I'm going to stick with a 6-iron. As you can see, I have lofted it up. That sounded a great strike. Oh, I'll tell you something. This could be all over this. Come on, sit down quickly. Oh, just a bit too long. Might come back off this slope. Certainly going to leave us with a downhill putt. Okay, 20 feet. So 20 feet, one foot down. Quite surprised that ball stayed up there, to be honest. Don't want to play this too firm. Certainly going to turn to the right. I've just touched that. Oh, it's really turned hard right. That ball needs to hold up. We've probably went about seven, eight feet past the cup there. Wow. Totally misread that putt. Fortunately, though, we managed to read the par save once again. And we are going to remain at three under par. This course is testing. One foot wrong, you're going to be punished. So hole number eight, par three, playing 190 yards. But honestly, guys, this, this course is breathtaking to look at. And it plays as well as it looks so far. Very impressed with this course from life on a board. So 164 yards, up six feet. Wind's going to take us to the left. Eight irons, bang on. I'm just going to deal off it a few touches due to the uphill element. And just look to kick this on from the front of the green. I've pulled that. I've pulled it left. Yeah, I knew as soon as it left the club face that I didn't swing that well. 
Yardage was actually really, really good, though, but we are going to have a tricky putt probably from about 25 feet out. Here we go. Drop this one for 23 feet. I knew I pulled that. So once again, challenging putt for birdie. Tell you something, this has got a chance. Come on. What a putt that is from 23 feet out. Who needs to get close to the pins when you can putt like that? But we do pick up the birdie, fortunately, and move to four under par. So, here we go. I knew there had to be a par six. The final hole of the front nine is 802 yards. And look at this for a hole. How nice do that, does this look? It looks like a Sicilian village without the houses. But this is just amazing. Unbelievable. This is clearly the feature hole on the course and it is absolutely breathtaking it's probably one of the longest flyovers you're going to witness in this game but it's a flyover that you don't want to skip what a beautiful looking hole i think we can just make this over here i'm going to deal off the driver and try and play an intentional fast here Clearly got the fast because the ball is moving. It sounded like that. And we're just going to make it over here. With a yeah, just. We get a favourable bounce. But once again, depending on the wind, if the wind was in my favour there, which it wasn't, you would be another 30, 40 yards down this fairway. So this is going to be a tough par 6 for me here. We're going to do well to reach this in 3. Fortunately, the fairway is way below us, the second part. That's a great strike. But just take in the gorgeous views in this course, guys. I mean, for a step theme, it looks absolutely stunning. Not a huge fan of the step theme, but this is so far the best step theme course I have played, if I'm going to be honest with you, and we're only on hole nine. So we can reach this in two. It's an uphill green. I'm just looking maybe to use that slope at the back if we are long. So we do have options here set up the eagle opportunity that's a great strike i'm really happy with how i'm starting to read the lie at my feet a lot more accurately no it's not going to come back off the the slope because we didn't reach it so we do have an eagle opportunity here but i would say my game has improved with turning all these aids off so 21 feet down five inches once again tricky putt for eagle don't want to play this too far but it will go racing past the cup Is it going to drop? Oh my goodness, we almost pick up the eagle there. I would have loved to have eagled that. But we do have a little three foot putt for the birdie. And this should put us to five under. So a solid front nine. I don't think we've, we've done much wrong, to be honest. I've had to earn my five under par there. So let's move on to hole number 10, which is a par four. It's a long par four playing 517 yards. I'm not sure if I'm right with this this guess here, but I would assume that the designer is picking up his inspirations from Arctic Fury and Sindri Revelby. I would imagine if Arctic Fury and Sindri had a baby, a coarse baby that is, this is what it would produce. Certainly getting the, the elevation gains and drops from Sindri and like I say this has definitely got the, the Arctic Fury feel about it I can't recall the name of the course that I am thinking about obviously Arctic Fury's produced so many good courses this is there's a I'm sure it was an Austrian course it's certainly got that feel to it So 179 yards, uphill, into the wind, but once again, look at these greens. This ball's going to shoot severe left. Hopefully the wind can bring it back round. Just want to be right at the flag stick here, hopefully. Oh, not that far right. We're going to catch that slope. We're going to catch that slope. Could this be in the bunker? Yeah, and we do run off. I love the way the greens are contoured that you are punished for poor approach shots. But that is so, so hard to get near the, 
the pin here. And we have been punished, but we do have a chip shot from 10 yards. Tell you something, if this turns, that's in. Oh, what a chip shot that is. The previous round, we had about six or seven chip shots. So with all the practice from the previous round, we've benefited in this round and we chip that in for a birdie. So hole number 11 is a par four. 495 yards. And this one is a severe downhill hole. But look at the views. Love the water out there. But this is a fabulous course, guys. I am mouth... My mouth is watering at these flyovers. I still can't get that Arctic Fury course out of my head. But it would be interesting to find the designer's feedback if this course has been inspired by Arctic Fury. But for one of his first courses... I think I don't think it's the designer's first course. I think it's his first entry into a TGC Tour um, design contest. Because this guy clearly knows his way around the designer tool. So 165 yards into the wind. It's downhill. Just going to deal off this 8 iron. Just try to get this running up towards the flag stick. It's a good strike. Yardage is good, just didn't gauge. But that should start to turn down. Have we found that slope? I tell you something. That is a really good approach shot. Okay, eleven footer here. This is definitely makeable. So eleven feet. Oh, this one could go. That should hold its line. It does hold its line and we are rewarded with another birdie there. Seven under for the round. And we move to seven under par. So, hole number 12 is a monster par 5, once again, playing 637 yards. But just look at this, guys. Once again, you're going to have options. You can go left or right here off the tee box. We're going to take the right side option. With a driver. This course is really going to test your swing as well. Especially with the wind. So, hopefully we've set ourselves up for our layup shot on the right hand side here. Obviously you can go left or right. Look at the bridge work as well. I think we could hit two wood here. Oh, let me see again. I think we're best sticking with a two iron. Just going to allow this downhill slope to carry it. Great contact. Has that got the legs? Yeah, comfortably made it. This should run out well. So, like I said, guys, at the first hole, you could tell that this is one of these courses that you're going to have many options to play. This is a course that you will come back to play again on different pins and different tee boxes. So just totally deal off in this gap wedge. Just try to play this right at the flag stick. Oh, that wind's took us round to the left, or maybe I've pulled that. I think we must have pulled that slightly, because I don't think that wind would have moved us as much as that. But there you go, guys. With the, the, the shot feedback turned off, I've got no idea how I'm swinging. So it does make for a more challenging round. This putts uphill. It's going to turn to the right. That needs to turn. Needs to. T oh, didn't play it firm enough. But we should pick up the par here. So some of these par fives are really, really challenging. You could have had a birdie there. I, I think you know that. But if you're walking away with birdie, those ones will drop. you're doing far better than I am in the par fives. But par is a solid score on these challenging par fives. But hole number thirteen. Look at the light in here. Par three. Elevated par 3, playing 185 yards. But I just, I'm so impressed with the planting and the sculpting of this course. The layout is fantastic. Clearly the designer is very creative to come up with these holes. So 6 iron for me. 
we've got to play it. It's playing 186 into the wind. Just going to deal off this 6 iron a touch. Going to try and use the contours of the green to get this close to the flag stick. That needs to come down. This could be good because it does turn towards the pin. Is it going to hold? Ah, we're just going to trickle probably about 10 to 12 feet past. But great tee shot there. 12 feet bang on. But we've been rewarded with a makeable putt. This would be for another birdie. I think that's us now 8 under par. So we are 8 under par. We do move on to hole 14, which is another monster par 4, playing 547 yards. I would imagine that beginners clubs have got no chance of scoring well from the back tees here. Probably some of the holes you could not play. And um, pro clubs would be a real challenge yardage-wise from the back tees also. Eh, from the back pins. But look at that green right in the edge. Of that rocky hill. Right next to the water. The green's in our favour. The wind's in our favour here. The fairway's downhill. This should be a drive that's way over 300 yards. Tell you something. I need a wee bit of... Oh, it's kicked left to... Are we going to have enough fairway to work with? Yes, we are. But imagine we've really took a lot of the distance out of that. We have. So once again, it's an uphill. I'm just going to try and use this slope at the green here to trickle this ball down the slope and hopefully get it near the flag stick. That slope really turns to the right. But we're just de-lofting this 9-iron. It's on track. It's on track. It's going to be a little bit more to the right of the flag stick than we'd have liked. But yardage was good. And we are going to have another birdie opportunity, probably from about 12 feet again. 12 feet again, bang on. This is a makeable putt. How have we missed that? It just did not turn back. I really expected that to turn back. I've clearly misread that green there. I think it turned a lot more than I expected at the front part. But we do pick up the par. Unless I played a dirty putt line. This is what I'm saying. It's so, so hard to gauge. But hole number 15, once again, is another monster par 5. 684 yards. These par 5s are certainly not for the faint-hearted. The amount of miles you would clock up playing this course, just walking around it. But look at the lighting. Once again, it just changes... The outlook to this hole and the course. And it's a fantastic looking hole. I am so, so impressed with this course, guys. Absolutely stunning course. So once again, you've got options. I'm just looking to play this uphill fairway shot here. Hopefully we've got enough club just to get up there. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Should kick into the fairway for me. Just. Just by the skin of her. Oh, no. It's run back down at the light rough. Oh, this ball is really going to move to the right at our feet here. I'm sure this hybrid gets there. Just try to run this on. Short of the flag and let it run up. Oh, that's a dirty connection. That's no way getting there. That was a dirty connection. I think we had a far worse lie than what the game suggested there. And we really came up short. So once again, we're struggling with these par fives. A flop shot, 76 to 82. Looking for a fast here. I don't think we've got it. Nine, oh, no. Nine times out of ten. Or 8 times out of 10, when I play a flop shot, it's normally a fast. I think we've executed a perfect, perfect there. So we're going to have to chip this in for the birdie. Failing that is going to be another par. We've not played these par 5s well at all. That's going to come up short. We should walk away with a par here. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. So a little 7-foot putt. Not much movement in this one. 
And we do pick up another par. Disappointing though on these par fives. And we are going to move on to hole number 16. So hole 16 is a beautiful looking par 3, playing 154 yards. But once again, these greens are really challenging. Pin location here is brutal. It's going to be so hard to get this close. I'm just going to try and use the green to our advantage here and run this down that slope. Tell you what, this is on track. This should run down this slope here. This should be close. Come on. Work your way down here. Keep going. Keep going. Should start to turn back a little bit. And that is a great shot there. We've used the green to perfection. And hopefully we're going to be rewarded with a makeable putt from 10 feet. I just want to give Av... 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 Av I'm not sure if I'm announcing this right. He's an Austral Australian gentleman. And that's a great putt. Avacrack Gaming. Um, it's his channel where I did first see this course being played. Um, so go check him out, guys. Tell him I early sent you. It's great to see that people are still trying to keep this game alive with course reviews and playing the game socially. But hole number 17. Beautiful par 4. Downhill, playing 464 yards. Just going to apply... A bit of fade here, looking to come over the top of these trees and get a kick off the, the rocks here, back onto the fairway. So we're aiming this way left, allowing the fade to do the work. And then hopefully we get a kick off the, the side of this hill. I think we've played as well, that should work its way back onto the fairway quite convincingly, just like that. Played that to perfection. That's one thing. In the few channels I do watch, I never really see anyone use fade or draw. I think I'm probably one of the, the only players I see use fade and draw. So just let me know in the comment section if you do use the fade and draw, or if you, you're more inclined to use the, the wind. I tell you what, this should be all over this pin. And we are cooking with gas at the moment. That is a great approach shot, and we should be walking away with birdie number 10 of the round here little six footer that is going to turn to the right. And we do pick up another birdie. So we are moving on to the final hole of this stunning course. Caldera Furiosa. It must be Italian. But what a beautiful looking final hole. And it is a par four playing 418 yards. And I do wish the designer... All the very best of luck in this contest and each and every... Look at this, guys. You're seeing all the other... That looks like it could be a driving rage down there, actually. But this wind's going to take us to the left. Just looking to find the centre of this fairway. If we do find the right-hand side, it's going to kick back into the fairway anyway. It's going to allow the wind to take us round. Oh, I think that wind's moving us more than I allowed for, but this should kick left. Regardless, we should have nothing more than a pitching wedge into this final green. It's going to be a gap wedge. It is downhill. 126 yards, down 22 feet. That wind's probably picked up to 10, 11 mile per hour winds now. It's going to have an hour look at this. Once again, the greens are brutal. So just lofting up this gap wedge, allowing the wind and the slope. This should be right at the pin. Should kick out down the slope. And that is a fantastic approach shot once again. Very impressed with some of our wedge play today into these greens. And we should be rewarded. With a little tap in birdie. And we should finish that with 11 under par on this par 73 course. Let's see the scorecard. We do manage to shoot. A 62 but that is a stunning course here guys I really hope you guys have watched this video and you go out there and play this course for me there's no two ways about this that is going to get a favorite and a five star review from me really enjoyed this round of golf like I say guys I hope you enjoyed watching it if you are new to the channel hit subscribe button please spam the like button because it really helps the channel like until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye